Hey everybody, Akers here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. You're in the Dark, episode number 25. We are searching the basically the northeast, north, and uh, we're gonna hit the cave that I missed at the picnic area near Timberwolf uh, Mountain. Uh, the rope to Timber Timberwolf Mountain in that in that little spot there. So it's an enterable cave, definitely worth something to look at, worth uh, worth a second look. So we're gonna take this toilet water. Just ran out of water. So we'll take this. And, um, man, I don't know. Part of me thinks we should go. Um, see here. Like, I guess we could start, and if we need to, we could always hole up in the abandoned mine. If not, there's also a, a car at the end of the road uh, to the north. So, we got options. Or we could always backtrack back to the rural house area. Which is where we're at right now, actually. This one. So, let's uh, let's head over here and find this cave. It should be straight over there somewhere. So let's get going here. Man, that freaked me out. That was a weird sound of deer. Hope it was me that scared him. Let's check this vehicle here. What if you could use a sleeping bag in here? Apparently so. All right. Hop out here. So it should be near these upper falls. There is a bear cave kind of close by, a little bit north. You should need to be extra careful about that. Um, I wonder if I can make it up the hill. I don't know if I can make it, even make it up the hill. Might need to go around. Eh, maybe. Nee, I don't think so. I'm going to go around. Oh, there's a bear. Coming at us or away? That looks like a bear butt to me. D E A R, not B A R E. Of course, it's not wearing any clothing, so I guess it could go either way. But then again, he has fur, so there's an argument. You want to go that route too? And there's a wolf that's probably going to take off and start acting like a pinball here in a second. Start bouncing around. There he goes. Boom. All right. Well, let's hope he doesn't pinball this way. Fingers. Is that the cave? That looks like a cave. Which way does he go? Is he still... Coming back this way? Yeah, he is kind of. But we can go back down that hill. So let's just make it quick. Alright. I might want to uh, actually head back to the rural house that we were just at. And rest up there. I don't know. We'll see. Step out here. 50. Feels like 50. I'm pretty well. I could stay the night in the car. I should be able to without any problems. Oh, this is his cave, actually. This is the wrong cave. We need to actually go a little bit more to the south. Uh, I don't want to be a, become a part of the uh, collection of bleached out bones there. So, let's keep moving this way. and should be alright. I mean, we're going to definitely sprain our ankle here any second, for sure. You know, because danger's everywhere. Uh, probably sprain our ankle and wrist. Maybe even our neck. Uh, possibly a clavicle. Alright, so... I think we're gonna... have a cave here somewhere. Wish this could I get up there. I don't know if it's down here or up there, but I'm gonna try to go up here. If I can't, then okay. I don't. Okay, let's head down here. Ah, here it is. Hey, dead guy. What's this? Oh, feathers. Shake your tail feathers, crows. Shake your tail feathers. All right. Let me turn down my mouse sensitivity. There feels a little jumpy. Uh, empty. You're worthless. You. You're worthless. I'll take this arrow, though. Hope nobody needs this. Nah, I don't need that. Okay, is that it? Well, that was not worth it. Up in here feels like 70. Man, it's 
like a beautiful day. Some rabbits down here. We're gonna just cut back down the hill here. That bear, I'd like to put him in my rear view, man, because uh, I think we'll I think we'll head on up to the end of the road. I'm feeling pretty confident. Even if we get a you know negative forty degree blizzard that sets in overnight, we should be all right with the car and all that. So, well, I had the right idea. I did want to go up that way, but pretty sure I wouldn't have made it up that hill. Let me see. What's probably the best way to go? I don't know if I want to go down the river or if I want to take the road. I think I want to stick to the road. Am I, am I covered because of my... Yeah, it's a little bit overweight. Not bad, though. So, we'll just keep pushing on. It's not much. Not much at all. Oh, there's a truck here. Need to definitely check that. Truck bed here. What have we here? Uh, I guess I'll take it. Normally I leave those behind, but maybe it'll come in handy. Tradition, right? Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Now, I haven't checked this house yet, I don't think. Maybe I did. I think I did when I first came through here, actually. Let's we'll double check. Make sure I didn't miss it. I'm like 99% sure that I checked it. Uh, yeah, I'll bring out the uh, storm lantern just to be safe. Maybe I didn't have a storm lantern when I last checked it, so I uh, can't remember. Maybe there's something lurking here. That's yeah, searched. It's already been searched. Ragged hoodie. Pieces of metal. Empty, I don't even know why I'm looking at it into it then. Okay, there we go. Alright. I'm not seeing anything that's standing out. Get a rifle back out here. Make sure that I'm loaded, I am. Good. Alright. There's nothing left behind there. Good, okay. Well, there's normally a wolf that likes to hang out behind those houses. Uh, he must have taken a day off. Just fine by me. Or he's relocated to somewhere that is going to surprise me here in the next five or ten minutes. I am not digging the fog, that's for sure. You know me, I, I absolutely hate it. I got a comment in the last episode. Hey, quit leaving behind the deer pelts whenever you come across a deer carcass. It's a really good point. Need to do better about that. I promise I will. They are pretty valuable. So there's a, a pointer tree right there. Air oh, whoa. Oh, God. I think we scared each other about the same amount right there. Uh, pointing up to the uh, the cave, heading back to uh, Coastal. Now there was supposed to be some birch over there at the cave that I was just at, with the at the upper falls. And I didn't see any birch uh, saplings. Maybe I missed them, but it seems like uh, 
I don't know. It seems like where they're supposed to be, I'm not seeing them. It's like a 50-50 chance. Maybe it's not a guaranteed spawn. I don't know. Or maybe since the map was made, uh, things have changed a little bit. So anyway, if we have to, we can stay in this car. There should be a dead guy up here, too. If the trunk was locked here. Yep. What you got? A little bit of water. Okay, we'll take it. We're already a little overweight. But if, what is it here? 65. Yeah. And it feels like... Yeah, zero. So we could actually go down to like negative 35 before we'd have to start really worrying about moving out of here. Can't anymore. How, about, how nasty is that thing? That. Not bad. Keep it. Okay, then there. What am I hearing? Is that a hippity hop sound or not? I'm gonna find out here in a second. I hear something up there. I hope it's a hippity hop sound. Might have to drop some gear. About 99% sure that was a hippity hop sound. Well, at least we're getting a lot of feathers too, so... Been a nice little excursion. Definitely worth it. I wonder if that bear hide's gonna be ready for, uh... For, uh, use when we get back. Got oh, a bunch of feathers. Oh, I thought those were feathers at first, but apparently not. Okay, well, there's our four feathers. Nothing. Okay, well. Nothing but feathers. Shoot one of those birds. Get a bunch of feathers. Okay. So from here, how are we doing on energy about halfway half tired well my thinking is we head back to the car or to the house because if there's a really bad blizzard we're not gonna be stuck in a cold car we'll be inside of a nice warm house with a nice proper bed and we stay there for the night because there's nothing really good for a cave up here, but kind of near a wolf zone. So I think what we'll do is we'll we'll head back to the uh, to the cabin where we were at. This house is, and then we'll we'll travel along the river. In the morning, once we uh, you know what? I could offload a lot of the stuff that I have here into the uh, coastal cave. Maybe we'll just do that. I'll go up to the coastal cave and offload some of this stuff. Sort of get it to jump on uh, moving out, you know what I mean? Because we're going to have to come this way anyway. We're going to be carrying a lot. I might as well just get a jump on it. There's a bear cave right there. Not worth looking in. I can't believe that's not on the map, actually. I'm 99% sure. Oh, there's a dead guy there, so we might as well check it. can't believe this isn't on the map. I thought it was a bear cave. Maybe it's not. But it's definitely not marked, so... At least on the map I'm using. Whiteberry's map. Which is, uh, I've always... Found to be the best map for me personally. I know, uh, oh, okay. Here's a soda. Anything else worthwhile? Not really. Grab a couple pieces of coal. I don't think we'll need it, but we'll take it since we're not going that far. And yeah, we'll probably just stay up there at the. Uh, We'll just stay up here at the uh, at the uh, abandoned mines, and it will also explore it at the same time. Get everything staged at the fr at the uh, at the coastal side. This 
This can be a touchy area, so we just need to be aware. Uh, escape route is back to the car. That's the rendezvous in case we get woofed at here. We have a deer in the area, so if we do get chased down by the wolf, hopefully when we make it to the car, it'll it'll divert and actually go for that deer that's kind of hopping around back there. But uh, yeah, we need to head up this way, sort of. I can't remember if it's up this way. I don't think it is that way. That's too steep. It's and when I don't come in at it from the right angle, it screws me up. Every time. I know it's not back past the cave. Actually, it is up here. There. Nothing. Yeah, okay, there's that There's that tree, that fallen tree. Here we go. There's our path. That tree's the reference I need to start using. All right. Well, we'll head up here and lighten our load. Explore the cave. Rest for the rest of the night. Let the hopefully let the fog pass and get some better weather in the morning. Cause it's been sort of a, just a dreary day here in Pleasant Valley. does give a really nice view of the uh, of this part of the uh, map here once we get up here I do like to look down and see where the wolves and the deer and the bears are all positioned oh here we go one of these I was told I was pronouncing it pretty good Karen so Can I reach it? Oh man, I'd be so upset if this was my mind and I couldn't actually even get to Oh, there we go. Story's not yet written. Okay. over here before we go inside try not to fall off a mountain sometimes if it if it wasn't windy oh what do we got here what's he chasing oh he's running from the bear let's say if you're really quiet and it's not windy you can actually hear the footsteps but he's running from the bear the bear's down here somewhere behind this tree we can't see him oh there he is right there right there he is so, had we been a little bit later, that wolf might have ran straight into us. So, yeah, just something to be aware of. Just sometimes it's a little unpredictable down there. Makes it makes it exciting, right? Okay, here we go. I think we've already we've already checked this, haven't we? I'm trying to remember, but we'll check it again. Nonetheless. Bunch of coal here. I think I'll take that to the other side. 
carry it since I won't be... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at all this. Lantern fuel. Nothing left. Seems pointless. Stick. Cloth, 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 cloth. Okay, we can move all this stuff, all these cloths over. There we go. Just... I think I need really anything else. I'll move a couple of these sticks over. I don't really need the mushrooms. Leave them there, I guess. Just... It's interesting. The way the light's playing around in here is kind of interesting. I don't think I've seen it like that before. So I, I'm pretty sure that I found a box of ammo up here. Just want to double check, make sure it's some the same person didn't like replace it. Uh, just kidding. Wish I could jump in this game. What, what was in here? Plus, okay. Can I tear those into leather? Let me see. Let me see. If so, uh, if so, it'd be worth it, right? Just to repair the boots. Let's see. Yeah. All right. We'll do that. We'll harvest that tonight. Cool. I couldn't remember if those were like a like fabric type of glove or. They were leather, it turns out. I guess they were leather, so that's good. We'll be... We're in a lot of coal by the time we get out on, uh, out on the other end of this. Just, I'm gonna just do a quick check around here. I don't think I've ever walked all the way around here. So... Make sure there's no, like, loose rifle rounds Get in here anywhere that I notice. That's a lot of coal. Now, does the coal respawn? Anybody know? Uh, running very fast, I can tell you that much. Sure seems like there is a lot of coal here. This gear is slowing me down. Yeah, I bet it is. You're probably up to about 80 pounds an hour. 80 to high pounds. That's a lot. <laughs> That's okay, though. Can't run anymore. Don't need to run. As long as I can move. We can keep moving forward. Help wear us out anyway. Nothing back here, really. Pretty sure I checked it all. Just want to check to make sure. Move that out here in case we need it. Uh, well, one of these, uh, oh, I thought maybe one of those had been locked. I don't remember. Oh, uh, piece of cloth. I'll take that. Ideally, I'd like to uh, spend a night here and then get over to the uh, enterable cave near Timberwolf Mountain entrance. And then, uh, get back to the homestead and really start hopefully the uh, air roll will be ready we can start working on that get that taken care of get that knocked out and then uh, basically get that uh, get off the map once we start once we get that completed and uh, then we'll head on over to coastal get our base set up and from there the, uh, the general idea is we're gonna head for uh, uh, we're gonna head for mystery lake And do some scavenging there, which will be a lot of fun. Always a good time. Make sure to leave back behind any more uh, driving gloves. Yeah? Okay. Pretty much leaving the coal behind at this point.
has a ton of coal. It must be spawning in. Because I don't remember there being this much coal. My first pass through here. I think I would have taken notice of that. I'm going to walk up this thing. In. Probably going to kill me. I wonder if there's a uh, rifle round up here. That's, that's what I'm curious about. Definitely don't want to fall off. That's as high as I can go. Okay. And there's daylight. We are moving slow, getting nice and tired. Kind of what we wanted to do. The uh, bring this out. Double check here, this area here real quick for uh, just a regular yeah newspaper. I remember that one actually. Oh, there's some driving gloves there. We'll take that. We'll take these driving gloves for the leather. And that's it. Lots of coal here then. Also. Take a peek outside, see what the weather's like now. Let's see if it's still foggy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's foggy. Hey, coastal highway. I yeah, been. It's been a long time. Okay. So let me offload a lot of this. First start by getting rid of all this coal. 31 pieces of coal at 20 pounds. Yeah, that'll slow you down. Okay, so that's a ton of coal right there. Uh, it almost looks like a rock. That's kind of hard to even remember. Um, actually, I want to grab all these. Put them somewhere. I can barely walk with this much gear. Didn't even realize I grabbed that much coal. Jeez, and there's still tons left back there. I want to put this like right here. There we go. A bunch of coal. Uh, find some water. Don't need these sticks really. All those. Don't need that. Oh come on. Move it off a little bit. No worries there. We're running low on pain meds. I'm gonna tear those up, tear those up. I think I'm wearing pretty ah, oh, I carried that I picked that up by accident. And uh yeah, we can drop that. Did I pick up did I pick up anything else by accident? I think so. They're eighty five percent. We're not quite ready to repair these yet. For full effect, but we will tear these up. A little bit of food, a little bit of drink. I think I'll just drop these here. Move off of the this little spot here. Yeah, let's drop these. All this stuff. I'll drink this right now, I guess. Well, no, it's not quite bedtime yet. I'll drink that for bedtime. I'm not going to eat these. Those are deadly. Cattails. Yeah, we'll drop them. Move these uh, sardines out of the way so they don't get accidentally ingested. There we go. Somewhere where they'll be easily forgotten about, right? Okay. So, take a look here. We got two sleeping bags. We'll drop this one here. Bunch of flares. Extra hatchet. Extra tool toolbox. I see I'm thirsty, I see that. Here. Uh, could probably drop the arrow here too. 
Actually, since that's kind of important to Arrow, I'm gonna put it up here. But that sort of stuff up there. Anything important, I think I'm gonna put up here. Which makes me wonder why I even put this up here, because I really don't need that up there. We'll just put that here. That, uh, I guess we can take uh, each of these flares. Drop this up here. Not sure why. I feel so tired. Not sure why. You're working hard, buddy. I'm not going to miss the uh, bag on the floor, or the sleeping bag over there, so I'm not worried about that at all. Is that all of them? Okay. I guess it wasn't. Let's get out of here. Get pieces of cloth. Don't need all that, obviously. Leave that there. Pretty noticeable. Not very heavy. I think I'll keep those. Well, no, I'm gonna need to uh, drop them off here anyway. A bunch of crow feathers. Okay. Let me see how this looks when I light this up. Yeah. All right. That's fine. We move a couple of these. Yeah. Got to get about from underneath there. What I'm sort of doing. As long as I know there's feathers there, that's what I'm. That's what I'm aiming for. I don't, just don't want it to blend in and like this extra that they have here. Okay, we turn off this. There we go. All right. What else can we drop? Now we could get those uh, curing actually by dropping them here. All right, fine. That works. Well, we got a bunch of stuff offloaded here, and we're going to do even more when we come back. So, uh, I guess we could, uh... Let's head on... Yeah, let's head on back to the other side. What are we doing on lantern fuel? I'm just curious. doesn't say. It's not lit. It doesn't say. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's kind of move with a little bit of purpose here. I think these loop around a bit. <sighs> Apparently not. There's another lantern. What, what kind of shape is that in? Eh, Alright. I'll leave it here at this intersection. So we can find it on our way back up here. It has more fuel. About the same. Okay, I'm going to drop, drop that one there. Now, if I harvested that one, it would take that fuel and pour it into this lantern. So, is a as long as you have space in your the remaining lantern, you'll uh, it'll fill it up with whatever fuel it has. That guy's going to be ready for a nap. I'll tell you that much. He's very tired. We're going to sleep well. It's almost night time. This is pretty good. Be good timing. We're almost back. Back to the PV side. We are definitely not rec recovering stamina very fast at all. Feels like 78 here, so we're actually nice and warm. Nice and warm. Right, let's throw this bag down here. 
Just gotta get something to eat here. But what do I want to eat? That should definitely do us. Let's go to get our drink. Oh, I should have drank that. Rather than filled up with water. That's okay. Not a big deal. That's 500 calories. This, I think this is another 250 here. Yeah. So that's uh, 750. And yeah, that'll be plenty to get us through the night. And yeah, we should be back up to 100% condition by morning time. So, let's get sleep here. Definitely can sleep. It looks good. Okay. Check and see what day it is. I think it might be day 60. What is it? 59, 18. Very close. We're coming up on day 60. Uh, it's still night time. Let's take a peek outside see what the tip and all that is. I could eat anything. They're pretty, actually. 48 degrees. Wow, it's a really cold night. Air temperature is 27. Ooh. Negative 27, I should say. That's really cold. I should smell if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Alright. Yeah, we can sleep again here for another hour. I think we're at 100% condition. We definitely should be. Yeah, we are. Okay, good. We're gonna sleep. No, I think what we'll do is we'll actually pass time for another two hours and then sleep for two or three. We'll do that. There we go. Let's take a peek outside here. Week. We'll see if the sun's up yet. I think it's still gonna be a little dark. Uh -oh. That doesn't look too friendly right there. Okay, we got crackers on the other side if we need them. And cat cattails. If we do have to stay here another night, we can do it. And, uh, that looks like it might be a blizzard moving in. I will tell. And sleep for, uh, we can do three hours. Let the morning hopefully burn off the fog there. Looks bright out there, at least. Really bright. See how the yeah, the shadow I don't know, the shadows seem different. Or the lighting seems different. Uh yesterday. Forty degrees. Time to move. Let's get a little uh, bit of a recon here. Don't like seeing it. Oh I hear I hear a bear. Did you hear it? Down there. There's a wolf down there. I think we need to move. I think we need to get off this hill before the wolf moves over there or gets spooked over there by the bear. So, did I pick up my, uh... I don't think I picked up my backpack, did I? Bad habit. Need to do that right away. Oh, apparently I did. Okay. I already have enough bad habits. I don't need phantom bad habits as well. Go easy. Go easy on yourself there. Okay. You know, I'm so paranoid. I just want to make sure I see it. There it is. Okay, good. Alright. I'm going to head on over to uh, the cave that I missed, basically. We're going to try to dip and dodge and duck our way over there. I think we'll go straight down to the, uh, the river. Head down that way, probably. Is that a moose? I think I heard a moose. That sounded like a moose. Something's running over here. That sound. I don't know. I'm not worried. I'm not looking for a moose right now. It's, it's causing something to run. Okay, there's a. I think that's what I heard was a deer. That deer is going to be my new best friend. He's my 
unsuspecting traveling buddy. He's my Otis. Otis, I should say. I will break his leg and leave him behind if I must. Without hesitation. My reconnaissance deer. Okay, now I gotta be careful. I've seen, for some reason, I think I've seen the. This area just makes me extra paranoid. I don't know. I've never really had a huge, really bad experiences here. But. I just see a lot of different type of wildlife around here, and I see them at different spots. I swear that was a moose. Never heard that sound before, and it sounded exactly like a moose. Almost sounded like creaking metal. Kind of. And there's nothing around there that should be making that noise. If I was in the middle of a, of a village, I probably wouldn't have thought anything about it. Like if I was near the Quonset station, I wouldn't have thought too much about it. But being out here where there's nothing that should be making that noise. Okay, car's going to be our. Option bunny rabbit. My little decoy bunny. Alright, let's see if we can make it down to the river. You know what? I might just take this up to the trails. I think I'll do, do that. I'm just going to take it up to the trail. Not a bad little path to take. Recon bunny. I'm just going to run up and catch you. He's a slow bunny. Uh, that, there he goes. It's early. It's just a slow starter. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, here's the turn. Okay. I was like, where did, did I miss my turn? No. Here it is. Well, if the moose is there, I have a feeling the bear is not. I don't think they're going to... I think they're probably going to try to give, give each other a bit of room, a bit of space. The dere derelict or dilapidated cabins there. Wind's starting to get a little... I heard some hoof steps. I think that was uh, deer. all those sticks sticking up and I thought maybe they were a uh, birch but they're not alas Jesus what am I hearing oh, god I'm so jumpy about 99% sure we've already checked this dead guy I think it's a dead guy our way down anyway. Should be good. Oh yeah, we're in good, good, good shape. Okay, wolf dead ahead. All right, can I? Jeez, oh, I'm not really super interested in checking this, those cabins, or grabbing those feathers. I'm not going to risk my life for it. I heard a owl over there, and the sounds are just messing with me this morning. Maybe what I heard was the trees uh, creaking. Maybe that's what I thought was the, the moose sound. That might have been it. Okay, let's go through here, because... Nice little canyon here. And the, the wolves aren't going to jump at me from the, from the rocks above. At least. So I don't think so. Thirty-eight degrees. What is the air, air temp? Negative eight.
Try to get over here a little bit. There we go. 48. Uh, bumped it up 10 degrees just getting into that wind. That protected area from the wind there. Okay. So I think what I want to do is I want to go to the second bridge. Basically, I'll go up to a bridge here, and then I'm going to go under it to the second bridge. They go up there. Up. This wind is uh got to slow me down a little bit. Might be those trees making those weird sounds. Because it being super cold and, and kind of windy at the same time. feel like I'm very inefficient when I move around here. Like, I don't take the best routes. Sort of fumble through it every time for some reason. Now we're at the birch forest here. There, there are a couple cabins there. Lonely cabins. Uh, but I don't think that we can get in them. There is supposed to be birch nearby, but I think I already harvested that earlier. I'm pretty sure I did. I think this is where we make a right turn here. There we go. Yes, it is. And there's our bridge. Now we need to get up to the next level. fumble my way up there. Deer, that's a good sign. I think I've tried to go up that other way before I can't, so I need to go this way. And then sort of make a big loop around. The pain walking into the wind. I hate it. I'm going to try to push this deer up ahead of us here when he turns around. Plus, maybe this will help block some of the wind coming over this way. Now, if this deer, if you were this deer and you came up over here and came face to face with a wolf, would you go back towards the guy coming at you with the gun or would you go towards the wolf with the gun? In this game, I think I'd go towards the guy with the gun because the wolf is a, is a one hit. And I can't outrun it. So. That's certain death. Whereas when you deal with me, it's possible. Maybe death. But nothing's guaranteed. Okay, well, I think he's uh, decided to... 
just decided to take the off ramp there, so nice traveling with him for a while. Keep going, keep going, push, push on through the wind. You'd think with all these trees, it would block, it would like have blocked and blocked a lot of the wind coming through here, but still pretty steady. Sucks so bad at this this area right here. I just really am not the best at it. Maybe I'll get lucky and stumble upon some birch saplings. That would be nice. Okay, here's a rope. I'm half tempted to take the rope. Um, we're pretty light. Surrounded by snow, nothing. That shut him up, didn't it? <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna take this rope. Is, yeah, it's warm enough. We need to. We can go up there and rest for a minute. But I know that on the other side of this, there's going to be that Skeeter's Ridge wolf area. But, uh... We have one more rope to go up. I believe. I don't want to sleep on the next level if I can avoid it. Due to the wolf threat. Yeah, there's the next one. Okay, I might take a little nap here in a protected area if I can find one. Uh, probably behind this tree. There we go. Alright, let's just... Uh, Rest here for a minute. All right. Yeah, a little bit better. Let's climb this rope up up here. If need be, I can always use the caffeine. Right there. I just don't want to walk all the way around. I'd rather just take these ropes, get up there, shortcut it a little bit. I hate this area up here. I hate it. I'm ready to shoot first and ask questions later if I have to, honestly. I'm starting to get really tired. Uh, how's my... Oh, we're almost we're almost down to where we're going to be encumbered, so... I might just want to recover here for a second. Uh, let me get behind this uh, rock first. Or behind this tree, probably. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's 50, it feels like 57 degrees, so it really doesn't matter. There's our old homestead right there. Oh, that's the barn. I'm sorry. The barn. There's the homestead. Okay, we're fully recharged in case we have to run a little bit. Peek my head over here. Sort of. There's a wolf right there. I knew it. I think I'm just going to be patient. Oh, there's one right in front of us too. Man, this is such a deadly area to come out of. If you weren't, if you weren't ready for that, man. Whew. Okay, so there is a... Uh, cellar right there if we need it but we the trick is getting there before the wolves do you literally it's a mad dash try to sneak by here let's 
64 degrees, no rush, other than our fatigue. But I'd rather save the bullet. I really don't want to have to shoot a wolf. Okay, there we go. I'm not ready to stand up yet. I think if I stand up now, he'll still get me. Skeeter, your ridge sucks, man. You're, you let the wolf population get out of control. Now, there, I saw, only saw two of them. Now, typically, there's three, so... Let's just remember the rule of one, okay? Always assume there's another one. Wonder if I can get on these rocks if I need to. Yeah, like, I'm going to take time to read this. Not written yet. Great. I don't want to read anything too crazy. Can I make it to this guy's body? Oh, this is getting greedy. Now there's some saplings there, too. I think I'm getting too greedy. Oh, I've already checked it. Did I already check this? Probably. Yes, okay. Let's hit, hit these saplings over here. Something is sapping my energy. Uh, that would be survival. Survival and playing hide and seek with nice birch. Hide and seek with the uh, bunch of wolves. What was that like 15 air uh, arrow shafts right there? I think thereabouts. Okay. We're going to need to stop and stay the night here at the, uh... At the abandoned cache, I think. Sorry, whenever I get super hypervigilant, commentary goes out the window. We might need the calories. Okay, here's here's the uh, yeah, <clears throat> the hunting blind, so we know exactly where we're at. I think we're gonna be all right. I'm not I'm not too worried. If we have to starve a little bit. That's fine. Getting very tired though. How are we doing? Ninety-one percent condition. Eh. I don't know if I want to use a bullet just to make sure that I have to avoid losing the twelve percent condition overnight. Oh shoot! Oh no! 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 Okay, we're gonna go this way. See if I can go this way. Can I go this way. Please let me go this way. I think I can. I think I can. See more trees, that's a good promising sign. Where's your buddies at, Mr. Wolf? Alright, there's a nice little lookout right there. I could actually climb up here if I had to. Let me take a peek up here just to be safe. Okay, we're there. We're there. Let's, uh, you know, I, I kind of want to make it to the, uh, if it's an enterable cave, let's get there. Because it might have food in it. And we could use some food. If I have to take down the wolf, we'll take the wolf, we'll take the hide. And we'll continue on. Uh, I don't want to have to shoot a wolf, but if I do, then so be it. I'll try to sneak by if I can. I'll try to stay as high as possible here. I take, I'm, I'm probably going to... How much water do I have? Yeah, I'm going to take this in case I need to cook up some water. 
Here's a cave. I get eyes on this wolf again. See, I've only seen him. But I'm pretty sure he has silent partners. If he gets close, I'm just going to duck. I'm going to try to stay as high as possible up here, though. Time for, for a dual wrist ankle sprain here. I don't think I ever made it up this high before. This might be the way to do it. I'm in no condition to run, though. So if I get pinged, I'm going to have to fight. Oh, yeah. There's two of them. Look at that. One, two. There might be a third one already down here. Jeez, that is just a horrible place for wolves. Oh man, I wish I, I wish I'd seen that cave I was staring at earlier, so I wouldn't have had to make this trip again. This is such a bad idea. It's creeping. It's creeping. All I can do. I just want to see how many there are. I think there's three, but there's only two. I'll be happy with that. That'd be great. Dang, look at that path that he takes. Can he get up here? I bet she can. I bet he can. At least I know I can get down this way. And getting back out, that's a whole other story. Ooh, okay. There better be a skill book or some ammo in this cave after all this. He has got to be coming back soon. Alright, let's let's try to pattern these guys, see what see what we gotta deal with here. As far as timing goes. He's probably gonna come right up through there. Something. Now I'm paranoid about that little spot. Where did that one disappear to, man? Talk about a long route. Where is he at? He's down there. That's that one. That is that one. Sounds like he might have went around and up, and I heard another one over that way. Reply. If the music hadn't started up, <laughs> probably would have been able to tell. Alright, buddy, where are you going? I think he's going to come out this way. Where are you at? There he is, there he is. Okay, so he's going that way. That's good. Where's the other one? The other one must. Oh, no, I hear him. Over there. I think I heard him. Come on back. I hear footsteps. That I'm hearing like a tree pop way off in the distance. 
you doing? Wolf is starting to sound like a pretty good dinner <laughs> at this point. No. I think I'm hearing trees pop that way. But I thought I heard a, a reply. There he is. Holy crap, holy crap. He took forever! Oh, there's two of them! Sneaky little... Call out. I want to know where this one is down here. One that I'm hearing but not seeing. Call out. I see his footprints. Holy crap. No wonder I got jumped last time. Time to move down. Can I get up there again? I don't think I can. Oh, jeez. That is nerve-wracking. I think it's time to go. It's time to stand up and move. Please don't be a fourth wolf. I don't want there to be a fourth wolf. Oh my goodness gracious. How far do those wolves go? I see there's treks here. Wow. Uh, I'm going to try going around that way or something. I, I'm not going to go back that way. And we're going to definitely rest up here. We might be hunting rabbit tonight for some food. I need a stone, though. <laughs> Give me a stone! Oh, there's probably going to be something inside the cave, actually. There's a stone. Okay, we'll hold off on that. Yeah, right here's the cave. Oh, gosh, that's pretty obvious. Bunch of stones here. Let's find some food or something. Let's get in here, man. Wow. That was tough. New location discovered. No, we don't want that one. That's the wrong kind of illumination. Oh. Not even illumination. There we go. Wow. I wonder where this goes. Please have some food or something in here. Not even interested in the flare. A box over here. Okay. Bedroll. Bow. Alright, that's cool. Could end up being useful. Oh, fire striker was worth it. Another bedroll. Later feel, we kinda needed that. Nothing. <laughs> What's this over here? Just some wood? Grab it nonetheless, just in case. Got lots of coal in here anyway. Okay. I think it's gonna link up with this other cave over here. Or the other uh, tunnel. Yeah, there's the other tunnel. If we come back, we'll go down that way. But you got anything worthwhile? If it was just a bow, I'm not gonna be very impressed. Better have something on the bottom half of your body. Nothing. You were worthless. I if I can drop any of this gear. Not yet. Find some food. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to kill a bunny for 250 calories. Actually, the bunny should get us most of the way through the night. It's not that bad. Thing in here. Nope. I've never been in this cave before. This is new to me. Better refuel this thing while it's lit. That's always a good idea. That refuel? Yeah. There we go. How's it looking now? Yeah, much better. I 
Do I hear the waterfall? Yeah, I hear the waterfall outside. That's kind of cool. Alright. Well. Let's go throw some rocks at the bunny. Not waste any ammo. Shouldn't take that many, but just in case it does. Alright, well, it's lackluster. Definitely worth taking a look at, though. Never know where you're going to find a, a skill book. Let's try not to fall off the edge here as I'm walking up. A little bit of a ledge here for a minute there. Okay, let's see this little bunny. There he is. Oh, uh, no, no, that's overkill. There won't be much meat left. I don't have any uh, arrows at all on me. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Stay with the... Yeah. Oh, there's two rabbits. Good, good, good. One coming at me? Or going away? Going away. I am not going down that stupid. Maybe I get some more feathers from this dead guy. We're both going this way? Turn the wolves stinking up on me. I gotta come back this way. Wow, he goes way out onto the lake, doesn't he? Alright, I'll get... I'll go out this way. This one should be the easiest one to get first. Turn around. I can't run. That's my max speed right there. Ah! That's because of my max speed. Oh, I hit him. I hit him on the bounce. I, I couldn't run. That was my max speed. I couldn't get close enough. How funny. Alright, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll try again here. I know, this episode's running long. I'm so angry, I'm just going to start throwing rocks into the ground. Oh, they're both running. Okay, well, we're going to end this episode here. <laughs> we'll go do some hunting for the rabbits at the very very beginning of the next episode. <laughs> that was horrible. Normally I could run. I, I'm just too tired. I'm like, I'm too tired to go get my food. My stunned food. Alright, let me go in here so I can save it real quick. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care.